Hello everyone. Um, so welcome back to another video. Thank you so much for uh, coming in. Uh, welcome to the newcomers. Um, so today I'd like to share with you um, some old German coins that I have here. Um, they are quite old, 1950s, 1949s. Uh, these are 10, uh, I, I want to say, how do you pronounce it? Frenning um, from, Butch, from Deutschland. Um, the, um, you know, so I'm not really sure which is the reverse and which is the obverse. So I would think uh, the same figures in the front of these coins would be the, uh, the obverse. And on the reverse, it gives you the uh, denominations. Um, so let's talk about the tens first, and then we'll go to the um, the two, and then the ones, right? So the ten frenic back when, uh, gosh, I'm really sorry if I uh, pronounce it wrong, but back in the uh, back in 1873, it was produced, and uh, back then it was an equivalent to uh, ten point ten point ten. Uh, gold mark. Uh, mark was the currency they used then. And uh, these are twos right here. Uh, as the um, as the time passes, you know, we go through World War One, World War Two, and then after World War Two, the Eastern uh, Germans, they still use the ten for neck, but I don't have those. Um, what I have here are what used in the West, on the West side of uh, Germany. Um, so yeah, so, uh, and then the composition changed uh, also. Some of them, the, the composition, some of them has more zinc in it. Uh, on and on and on. I really don't know what's exactly the full compositions of these coins, but uh, there it is. And then you have the one right here, the net denomination. They produce uh, these coins in our one, Frenic, two, five, uh, ten. I don't have the 25, and I do have some 50s here. So the current value of these coins uh, are less than a dollar, unless you have some that are in mint state, BU, uncirculated, blah, 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 um, where a collector would pay you $20, $30 for it. There were quite a few, about half a billion of each coins were produced, so there's, uh, there's a lot. Uh, the D you see on some of these mint marks are, I think the Ds are produced in Damstuhl, they have mints in Frankfurt, they have mint uh, in Dresden, um, they have mints all over um, Germany, and they still do. Munich has a mint. Um, but now, uh, their currency of choice are the euros, and as you can see there, um, I don't know if you can see it right about there, and you see all the European Union countries, you know, Italy, I can't see all of them, uh, but, you know, um, Belgium, uh, let me see what else. Uh, Switzerland. A lot of folks uh, do use this. And you can see the United Kingdom there. But the United Kingdom never used the euro. They're part of the European Union. But they never used the euro. At least I don't think they ever used the euro. Because they didn't meet the five criteria in a currency for them. So they stuck with the pounds. Um, or the pens or whatever it is they want to use. The language of the day. The word of the day. Um, so here are the euros. Um these are 50 euros, um, and then you have your, these are current, current currency. Um, they, uh, hmm. I thought I have uh, more than that, but anyways. So, the exchange rate is, right, as of today is 1.18. So it takes 1.18, almost $1.20, $1.18 uh, per euros. Um, it's pretty cool. Um, about two two or three months ago was the time to invest because it was down to like uh, 1.1, 1.9 uh, or something like that. Um, so the quick thing about the euros is these coins are they're really handy to have when you're traveling over there because everywhere you go and you need to, when you're traveling on the highway and you need to go to the bathroom, a lot of places require you to uh, to pay to use the restroom, but the restroom is just immaculate. You know, it's just uh, the toilets are all automated um, after you use them. Uh, you know, they have sanitizer that comes out and it cleans and it sprays and it does all that. So it's worth, uh, it was, it's worth a couple of euros. And they have, you know, the, 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 the funny thing about this is they have $1 coins and $2 coins. And, 
and of course, you know, I don't pay attention to it. I think, uh, I think the smallest bill is a five, a five euro bill. So I don't pay attention to it. Like when I was in a restaurant, this guy gave me a handful of coins and it was quite a bit. And I, you know, in my mind, I'm thinking, Hey, those look like quarters. So I just left a whole bunch of it as tip. And it turns out that I left them way too much for tip. And in general, they don't tip over there. You know, all the prices included taxes and all this other stuff's included in, in the price already, you know. Um, but one night uh, we were out uh, uh, having tapias and a few beers. And I just said, you know, I just leave it, you know. And, and, and so I think I left them too much. But um, anyways, with that, um, I hope you enjoyed it. These are, you know, I do enjoy looking at these old coins. Uh once in a blue moon, and uh, so uh, it's time for me to put them up. You guys have a good day. I'm out.